What's going on everybody? Today we are out here starting out on Yukon. What we are going to be doing is right over here. As you guys have seen from the title of the video, we are going to be hunting in every corner of the earth. So we are starting in Yukon, then we're going to go to Medved, then all the way bottom right to Teror, and then, or Tiaroa, I guess, if you want to say it properly, and then Parque Fernando to end it off, bottom left. So we're going to start in Yukon, like we are. We're going to hunt around for a while, see what we can find, I think... I'm going to start off with some bison, so we need to change it to 10 o'clock. And we're going to see what we can find. So let me change the time here real quick. We are going to be using our 300 Canyon Magnum Frontier. Once I change it to 10, 10, 20 is probably fine. We're going to go and hunt some bison, and then we will also hunt some grizzlies, because I really want to do some grizzly bear hunting on my map and see what we can find. So that's how we're going to start it off, and I will see you guys when I find some stuff. Well, we got some wolves running around down here. Not seeing any good. Actually, we got a level seven. Might as well pop him. There he goes. He's down. Um, we also have some bison. Not seeing any good ones. Of course, I spooked off the only decent male to level three. But I'm pretty sure we got bison on the far side as well. And we do. Not seeing any males over there. That level 3, if he turns a little more broadside, I could probably take a shot on him. Shouldn't be too difficult. But he's running directly away, so definitely not giving us really room for a shot. Take that back. He just turned perfectly broadside. So he should start dropping. He went aggressive, so he's going to run over and die right next to us, hopefully. Actually, he's dying really quickly. Um, but let's start off by grabbing our wolf right here, our gray wolf. And... Let's see what he was. Flesh it on the second hit, but first shot we got double on. Not bad. 36.77. Barely gold. Um, but where is our bison? Where did he die at? He died somewhere over here. Is that him? No, nope, that's a rock. Where do you oh there he is. It's right there. Alright, we're gonna grab our bison. And then we're gonna look at a couple more of these lakes around here. Continuing looking around for bison all the way around. So probably check out this lake too. Actually, I've already done that. Have I checked this lake? I'll bet you there's bison over here. A lot of places we can check. Then I'm going to go look for uh, grizzly bears along the river and at these lakes as well. Along as well as these lakes over here. So here is our bison. Let's pick him up. Nice long shot. And make sure we don't got any level 5 geese in this guy. And I'm not seeing any, so I think we're good to go. All right, let's look. Where do I want to check? I think I'm going to check Copper Bull Lake right now and see if there's any um, Plains Bison down here. Oh, wait, we have a Plains Bison running right by me. We need to get a shot into that guy. And another one. There we go. He's going to be going down. Uh, I ran around Copper Bull Lake for a little while. Found a couple Plains Bison zones. They were all just small level threes. Nothing too crazy. So, we're going to... I hear geese. Any good ones? Nope. All right. Let's grab this guy. Nice level four. Double lung and then second shot. Way too low. Almost got the heart though. 70, 172 on him. Really nice size level four. Not quite a max weight estimate though. Anyways, we got some more over here. Another level four. Any max weight estimate level four. Not CNA. So I think we're just going to take a shot on that level four right there if possible. I need him to provide me with an angle, though. Or just keep pushing that one. I would really like it if he could give me an angle here. D oh, my gosh. Well, he made it. Oh, wait, that's a female. Oh, no, that's him. That's level four. All right, we're good. Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. Um, I kind of want to go for a brain shot, but I'm not going to do that. Let's try and hit him, and then maybe when he turns broadside, hit him again, in case we don't get the penetration we need from the front. So, where is this guy? There he is. How far away is he? 224. We're going to zero for 300 and just aim a little low. Actually, you know what? We can hit him into the back there, and then when he turns, maybe get another shot, and he's going down. That's perfect. Let's go and pick him up as well. Another level four. And then we're going to go and hunt a couple of grizzlies. We're not going to spend too much time on this map because we got three other maps to go to. So let's go and hunt some grizzlies right after I grab this guy. Got some more taken off. I think these are just the same group that are turning back. Anyways, let's grab our... 
Ooh, second shot we didn't get a good shot, but first shot we definitely got him. We're gonna grab his level four, nice gold. Let's go and hunt some grizzlies. Now, where would they be? I kind of want to check these lakes. I want to know if they'll come down here. So I'm gonna go check that out because I've never been down there and I, w I really want to know if they go to those lakes. Uh, they drink from four to eight, so I need to change it to probably like 5.30. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A nine legendary grizzly bear. Where is he going? There's no way. There's no I'm going to be so mad if he trolls. Oh, I just spooked off a level 7 right here, too. So there's level 5 and a level 2. I was looking at these lakes. All I found were level 5 and 4 grizzlies. And then that guy shows up. There's no way. Grizzlies are actually pretty rare diamonds in my experience. Um, They used to be one of the rarest diamonds in the game. They have been made a lot more common. That was, like, way before... Um, that was back in the old scoring system when they used to be one of the rarest times in the game, but still. This is still an insane bear. We're going to take the shot here. 300 meter shot. It's actually a 250 meter shot. But we're just going to go like that and get a shot into him and he should start going down. He is, oh my gosh. This is insane. A nine legendary grizzly bear on the first map. After we pick up this guy, we are definitely going to head over to a new map. Fingers crossed he makes diamond. I have never had a diamond grizzly in my life, and I really, really, really want him to make diamond. This was actually one of, back a long time ago, this was, I believe, Flinter's last diamond he needed um, to get every diamond in the game a long time ago, just because they were so incredibly rare. I think he got it for, like, his 5,000th harvest um, very, very long time ago. Anyways, we're going to go pick him up. Fingers crossed he might be my first grizzly diamond. He is, oh my gosh, please. Let's go. 67.76. Decent size one as well. Let's go. My first ever nine legendary grizzly and it's a diamond. That's so amazing. Diamond grizzly to start off the video. That's insane. On to a new map now. We're going to head to... Uh, where do I go? Here we go. Uh, Medbit Taiga now and see what I can find. I'm just going to hunt a couple species here and then go and hunt a couple species down in New Zealand. And then a couple species in Parque Fernando. There we go. We got a reindeer right here. I'm currently at the big lake on Medved Taiga. And we're going to go for a shot on this reindeer. It is currently lynx reindeer and brown bear drinking time all into one. So we're going to see. Actually, you can see everything right now. Got brown bear, lynx over there, and reindeer right here. Actually, it's only 135 away. Might as well go for a shot. Let my heart rate calm down a little bit. And take a shot. And take one more to get him down quicker. Let's go pick him up now. Fingers crossed he scores gold. Highly doubt he will. And you know what? Might as well... Oh, never mind. She's taken off. I was about to say, might as well take a shot on that brown bear. But she's taken off. So, I think we're just going to go and grab this reindeer. Actually, we got a brown bear right there. You know what? Might as well go for a shot on him in a second here. Kind of need to alert him, though. Will he be alerted from this? No? Oh, he took off. Um, I really thought that he would... <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have the... Wait, can I save him? Nope. Can I save him? Did that get a good shot? It did. I saved him. Okay. Um, I, I keep forgetting that I have the 22H, not the 22LR. Um, because this seems loud. And 22LR is very quiet, so... Let's pick this guy up. Nice silver on him. Let's go and grab that brown bear. And fingers crossed he scores gold. Here is our level 6. Let's pick him up. And he was a gold. Oh, barely got the lung on that. 23.8 on the dot. That's what you need for gold. That's insane. I don't think I've ever done that before. Had the exact, exact estimate you needed for a gold. Anyways, we're going to hunt a little more along this lake. Actually, I'm going to go to a new spot. Um, I wonder if there's going to be any brown bears over here. Kind of want to check. Hello. Um, what is that? There's a wolf over there. And two Capricales. Three to four and four. That guy's not bad. I wonder if I can get a shot on him. This would be an insane shot if I hit it. Um, so we're going to try. I don't know how far I have to lead him for these guys. One more shot. Definitely didn't get him. Unfortunate. Uh, let's continue on. I'm checking, hopping around to all these different lakes. And we're going to see if we can find anything at any of them. Ooh, hello. We got a nice Eurasian lynx right there. Might as well go for a shot on this guy. And he's still calm. Oh, he's attentive. 
and he's alert. Whoops. Got a little too close. We got our 22-250 to try and take him out with. And I just realized I was here for 300, so that was probably not a good shot. Um, That's unfortunate. I need him to turn a little bit so that I could hopefully get a follow-up shot and save him. Just need him to turn a tiny bit. Look and make sure there's nothing else around here. Just turn a little bit, please. Don't run straight in a straight line. Just turn. Give me a chance to save him. Please. Fortunately, don't think he's going to turn for me. Oh. He turned a little bit. I don't think I, I don't think I was enough to save him. He started dropping a little bit. Wait, he dropped a little more. I still don't think it was enough to save him. I don't think that was vital. We'll go pick him up, though, just to make sure. Let's pick up this guy. Don't think I got a vital on him, unfortunately, but... Oh, that's weird. That should have been a lung shot. I didn't even hit his face. That should have gone to the lungs. And second shot, almost saved him just a little bit too far forward. Unfortunate. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm going to look around, though, and we'll see where else I can go. Oh, we got a Capricaylee right here. Might as well take a shot on this guy. If he's just going to land right in front of me. Bang. Dropped him. Let's grab this guy. And see what he scores. Nice level two. Fingers crossed he's decent. And we're going to pick him up. I have heard of level twos making that before. But it almost never happens. 430 on him. Not bad. Alright, I think we are going to close it off there. And head to a new map. Haven't spent too long on this map. But once again, I don't want to spend too long on any maps. Because this is going to be an extremely long video if I do. Anyways, um, we're going to head over to what map now? I think Tero. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I do know some people do like the longer videos, but I'm trying to keep it just kind of in the middle. Hopefully around the 20 minute video ish and we'll see what else we can find. There we go. As you guys can probably see, we are hunting some Sika deer. So let's check and make sure there's no good ones. And only level three. Sika deer are only found on this map, so might as well hunt the species that's exclusive to this part of the world. Um, or at least in this game. Let's grab this Sika deer, and we're just going to do a wrap along the coast all the way down and through this area. And we're going to see what we can find in terms of Sika deer. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's level four. What in the world? Guess I just spooked this guy off of that reel, isn't it? Um, he's turning away. Not ideal, but when my heart rate calms down, we should be able to get a shot. Only issues is that he... Never mind, we got it somehow. I'm actually confused as to where I hit. Had to have been, like, spine, right? And neck? Or maybe neck. It could have either been spine or neck. Hopefully I got a lung as well. Um, But he dropped instantly, so fingers crossed it was a vital. But that is a very nice looking level 4. I'm not sure if his max weight has been or not. Um, I don't remember. I just hunted Sika recently, but I, like I said, I don't remember what max weight estimate is and what's not. We got a turkey right here. Anyways, 50 to 62. I feel like 62 to 75 is probably max weight estimate, but we'll know by the... God, yeah, so that's 50 to 62 as well on level 3. So this is definitely not max weight estimate. 115 to 198 for diamond, not bad. And it was actually just lung liver, so it was a perfect shot. Nice. Oh my gosh. A level five Sika deer. Why is it traveling? Their drinking time's not even up yet. Are they going to that lake? What is my luck today? That's a big level four Sika deer as well. Actually, it's not that big. Oh, it's pretty big. That's a decent level three. No way. A level five Sika deer. There's no way. What is my luck today? Okay, well, we're going to go and <laughs> take a shot on that guy. That's insane. How far away is he? 197. So we're definitely going to want to start walking here. Um, because I do not want to spook him. I have no idea what my luck is right now. That's pretty crazy. Got some mallards up here, too. A couple decent ones. None of them are diamond potential, but... That's insane. I don't even know if to... 
we're what on a third map we still got a whole nother map to go to and this is possibly our second diamond already that's crazy and one of our uh-oh hopefully that wasn't him that just spooked i really hope that wasn't just him because he just took off without giving me a warning call so that makes me think it probably was him unfortunately we're gonna get over this hill just to make sure that that was him that's unfortunate Oh, I think it was him. Oh, he's calm. It wasn't him. I spooked the level three. Okay. We're going to try and alert him. Come on, please alert. Stop running. Alert, please. He's still calm, which is good. Attentive. Go alert, go alert, go alert. Please go alert. Jump, and he should be alert. Perfect. Wait for a heart rate to calm down, and when he turns broadside, we're going to take that shot. Oh, he turned towards me. I can't tell if he's towards me or away from me. He might be turned away from me. I really can't tell. I'm pretty sure he's turned towards me, but I'm not going to risk it. Oh, he was turned towards me. Okay. Turn a little more broadside, please. And I will be comfortable with that shot. All right. We're going to alert him one more time. It didn't alert him. Maybe one more time. Jump. Just alert, please. Come on. Just go alert. Stop. Tentive. Go alert. What is this guy doing? All right. You know what? We got him. Nice long shot. We're going to go pick him up. Oh, please make diamond. Don't troll me. Please don't troll me. Seek deer is so sick. And you don't see very many dives of them because people don't hunt them very much. They're only on this map. And when people are on this map, they're usually grinding red deer or fallow. So that's insane. When I pick this guy up, I will definitely probably just switch maps. Actually, we'll finish running the coast. We'll go until their drink time ends. We'll go all the way down. But this guy is insane looking. And he's a diamond. 207. Really big one. Almost... 10 points over diamond. That is crazy. They're so crazy looking. My luck is insane in this video. All right, let's keep moving on and see what else we can find. Ooh, there we go. There's a decent level four seek over there. And a couple level threes over here. Level three there, level three there, level three here. That's a decent size level three. That's almost level four. I do think I'm going to take a shot to level four, and then we are going to head over to Parque Fernando. Um... But it was insane that we got that level 5 Diamond Sika. So that's going to be a great addition to the Lodge. And let's try and get a shot on this level 4. I actually need to work my way a little bit farther left over here to where I can get an angle on him. Might even get to see a couple more Sika along the edges of the river over here. And actually, we are going to. Actually, you know what? We're going to take a shot on that guy. That's a max weight of some level 4. Um, and he's bigger. So we're going to take a shot on him instead. And let me make sure there's no rares or anything. I'm not seeing any. Red spotted and albino, I believe, are the only two rares. So let's check another level two over there. And that level four is still chilling right there. So we're going to take a shot on this guy as soon as I can. I need to get a little bit farther here to where he is not completely covered up by this grass. You know what? Probably just take that shot now. It's not that far away. Not too difficult of a shot. We're just going to go for the shot. And actually, a, I hope that deer's not behind him. What am I hitting? Huh. Did I hit another deer or something? No. What in the world? We'll take a shot at it with the 300. And I'm pretty sure we just double lunged it because he started dropping down extremely quick. Or zeroing for 300, not with the 300. Let's go pick him up. I am very confused of where those first shots were going. Very confused. Anyways, we got some more over here. We got some mallards as well. It's not a, where'd the other mallard go? I swear I saw a big mallard. Guess not. Um. Yeah, none of them are too crazy big. Got some more seekers over there. Just a bunch of females. And I'm not seeing any on... Actually, I take that back. We got a level 2 on that side. All right, let's go grab this level four, and then I will see you guys over on Parque Fernando. Let's grab this Sika deer, and 178, he scored, is that top of his estimate? That might be top of his estimate, that's a big one. Nice black fur type, and we just single lugged them. Not a bad shot, that's actually a really good shot. Let's head over to Parque Fernando. So I just spooked off a male mule deer right there, but we do have another one. A level three. We're going to take a shot on this guy. And 
I just messed him up terribly. Yikes. Um, those were rough shots. I am recording on the following day, um, from when I was recording the other maps. And this is my first couple minutes on, so I am definitely not warmed up yet. But we're gonna definitely get warmed up so I can start hitting my shots. Anyway, so let's go and grab this guy. That was a really terrible shot. I don't even know why I took that. And hopefully he would have scored gold. We're only gonna get a silver out of him if he did, or if he would have. But let's take a look around here. Make sure there's no other good ones. We got that level three over there. Definitely a doable shot. I don't even know what this guy ran off and died at. Here's his blood, so he's probably right up here. Um, where'd that level three go? You know what? I could probably do that shot. Oh, he's fleeing. Where is the puma that spooked him? It definitely wasn't me. Yep, it's that female right there. All right, let's go and grab this guy. And then we're going to hunt for quite a bit longer on this map before we close out the video. But we've had some pretty insane luck today. Here is... Oh, there's that puma chasing. Here's our mule there. And 239. So he barely would have been gold. Not bad. Let's continue around. And actually... Let me go back around this way. Because this lake, as well as these two and this lake, are all fantastic spots for mule deer. Oh, there we go. We got another meal there. Let's not mess the shot up on this guy. Preferably. I'm just going to zero for 300 and aim a tiny bit low. Because I don't feel like range checking this guy. There we go. Should be a nice long shot. And it was. We'll go and pick him up. And spooked off some javelinas over here. Anyways. Let's check. Actually, can't even see across the lake. It's a little too far. Maybe. If I get closer, maybe. Uh, no, not really. All right, we're going to grab that guy. Keep looking along the back side of the lake over there, and then we'll move to the other lake. Let's pick up this guy. And it's perfect double lung shot on him. 226 gold. Let's continue looking down here and check to make sure there's no good mule deer anywhere. And dude, that guy looks decent. It's very decent. Big old level four over there. And a smaller level 4 and a level 3. The only issue is he is very, very far away and I need to go down to that lake. So I will shoot him and I will save him for later. I will go and pick him up a little bit later after I am done checking all of these lakes for Mule Deer. So he will start dropping. There we go. And I just spooked off Mule Deer from this little lake. Or it's kind of like side piece of this lake right here. Um, I did not even know they drank here. Apparently they do. So we definitely want to get a spot on this guy. Make sure he's nothing special. Where did he run off to? I hear him. There he is. Just a level three. Nothing too crazy. Uh, oh my gosh. That's a lot of meal deer. That guy looks decent. That's a nice level four. Anything else? Level three, level one. Pretty insane. All right. Um, getting that four would be ideal, but getting that three would also be pretty nice. So we're going to try to hit the three first and then get that four as he runs away. There he is. There's the four. So I'm just going to have to zero for 300 and hopefully he turns left like those ones. Not looking like he's going to do it. Wait, did I get into a lung? No, I did not. I'm pretty sure I just hit him in the neck. Anyways, let's go and grab that level 3, and then we will continue on down to this lake. Fingers crossed he's a gold. Let's pick him up. And he was a gold. 225 again on these guys. Pretty sure it's the second 225 of the day. Let's head down to this lake now. And hopefully there's going to be like a level 5 or like a rare. Maybe an albino or a dilute. I don't know if I've ever shot a male dilute before. There we go, we got another level 3. Nothing too crazy though. A bunch more actually. And I thought I saw another one over here somewhere. Right over there, yeah. I think we're gonna probably, since we have to go that way, probably gonna take a shot on that guy right there. I'm gonna attempt, how far away is he? 252, 0 for 300, we're gonna attempt a hard shot. Definitely didn't get it, but we can get one more shot into him. Hopefully that gets into a lung. 
And actually, I don't think it did. That's super unfortunate. Well, nothing good here anyways. Might as well go and at least look for a level four at this big lake. Ooh, that is a very nice size level four. He is traveling over there, unfortunately. So I'm gonna attempt to get a shot on him. Um, their drinking time just ended, but I need him to turn broadside for me so I can actually get a shot. He is standing still, even while traveling, which is kind of odd. So he might be standing there for a little while. There's a chance I can get up to the right of him to be able to move it to where I'm broadside from him so he doesn't have to move at all. Um, if he does move, though, that would be ideal. Where did he go? There he is. Because that would give me a little bit better of an angle. But this is going to be the last animal of the video, I believe. And he is facing away. So I definitely need to move my way to the right here. And he's about 250 out, it looks like. Let's see. He is 248. Yeah, so 258 out. And we need to move to the right here. This will bring us closer, so it'll be an easier shot. And obviously open up the lungs to us for the shot. So, almost far enough already. I just need to get down to probably about that bush. And it should be a fairly simple shot. So, once I'm on the other side of this tree and at this bush. Oh, actually, he decides to turn now. That's wonderful. We're at the bush. He's alert. We, uh-oh. Oh, he's just alert. The other one's fleeing. Um, He's going to walk by that tree, isn't he? If he turns broadside, I could probably still take that shot. I'm going to get ready to take the shot because he's going to turn broadside for a second as he turns all the way around. Maybe? Maybe not. He might... I mean, the tree's blocking me from taking the shot. So unfortunate. There we go. Oh no, he started walking. Alright, we we're going to have to zero... Actually, we can still zero for 150. Just going to be a little bit difficult of a shot. Here we go. Did I get him? Unfortunately, I don't think I did. Try and save him here. Oh, we hit him. Was it a good shot? Nope, hit him in the leg. Unfortunate. Love that sound of the M1. Um... Guess we're gonna try and get a follow up shot on something else because that was rough. I actually want to know where I hit on that first shot. I mean, he was running, so wasn't a shot I was expecting to hit either way, especially with the M1. The M1 doesn't have great bullet velocity, so it's a little bit more of a kind of 200 meter. I mean, 300 shots aren't difficult as long as they're standing still, but he wasn't standing still, so we're gonna see what we can find as we head up the hill. Let's pick this guy up real quick, and unfortunately, we did not get a good shot on him. We barely missed the lungs here as he was running. Almost got him, though, and almost got him there again. That actually should have gone through the neck. That should have dropped him. Unfortunate. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day, and see ya.